I fancy myself as someone who's decent at coming up with sitcom theme songs just off the top of my head. We'll see how this goes. I might not be good at it, but we'll see. Uh, I would like you guys to help me out with this. Shout out the name of a made up. Just make something up in your head. The name of a made up, like 80s, 90s style family sitcom. No wrong answer, really. The title of a fictional sitcom. Cheers in the family. <laughs> the most cynical title I've ever heard. Cheers worked. All oh, in the family work. We got a million dollars right here. Cheers in the family. Okay, cool. Raise your glass to our family. One plus one plus one makes three. Add another one. That's four. Family of four. Living at a bar and having fun. Dad and mom and daughter and son living together having a good time cheers is all right and we're living together sisters and brothers mothers and fathers too when you own a bar it's like a zoo going to school together or even shopping at the and when it comes to discipline, dad rules us all. Okay, great. So we got somewhere there. We got somewhere. It's all right. We made a little headway. Can someone shout out the name of another one? Just another title. That one was great. Anything you want. Best foot forward. Best foot forward. That's very good. That's a professional, okay? That's what you aspire to. Best foot forward. You'd watch that. The accident was hard. It took one of his legs. Replaced it with a peg and now he's different. But he's learning how to walk again. Learning with the help of friends and there's no friends in life like family. And we are living together, sisters and brothers, mothers and fathers too. One leg or not, it's like a zoo. <laughs> Hanging out at the local beach or the local waterfall. And when it comes to discipline, dad rules us all. Great, we're making headway here. I feel really good about that. It's just a family sitcom where one of the guys has only one leg. We'd watch it. Give me one last one, one last title for a sitcom. Peanut butter. What was, did someone just say, did someone just whisper peanut butter? <laughs> Is that what you said? The shyest man in the audience. Peanut butter? That's so good. Uh, am I allowed to say peanut butter? Or do people have allergies to the word now? Should I whisper it? Don't say peanut butter. Peanut butter, okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Peanut butter, that's great. You can put it on your toast Or even on your sandwich Talking about that sweet PB and sometimes J Take it to school No, they've got allergies You cannot take your PB here today it doesn't seem like grave news, but one guy broke the rules. He thought, who cares? I'll take my PB and J sandwich to school. And so he brought it there and ate it everywhere. And then he watched young Janet fall to her death downstairs. Her allergy hit her so hard and she fell so very far. By the time she hit the floor, she had much more than a simple scar. Her spine had broken in one, two, three, four, five, six places, yeah. And by the time she got to the hospital, she was quite dead. The funeral was sad, and everyone was there. They talked about the pretty things she once put in her hair. Barrettes and uh, elastics. <laughs> it wasn't that important. But no one knew Janet too well, so they focused on the moments. But Janet up in heaven knew that she'd been wronged. And so she spoke to God and sang him a simple pleading song. She said, let me have my vengeance and return to earth. 
either in this current form or when another mom gives birth. And God said, that's not really my thing. Vengeance is in the past, but I like you, Janet, and I want to see what happens, okay? Yeah. And so he granted a new mom power, and she gave her babe to life. And Janet came out of the womb, and she was already holding a knife. She cut her own cord. She crept out the door. And the doctor said, should we stop her? And the mom said, now nah, that's cool. <laughs> Baby Janet crept down the halls of the hospital that day. She passed the passing cars and waited for the bus. She traveled the slow way. She got to school and she waited at the top of those same stairs. She peered around the corner, searching for that boy most anywhere. And then she saw him coming with another sandwich in hand. And he saw her, some tiny, greasy, baby, holy shit, man. He tried to run, but he tripped, and the baby was upon him at his neck. And she slid it, drawing blood from him. You won't believe what happened next. He died as well. Oh, did you know that? That wasn't that surprising. When someone gets their throat cut, that's the fucking last song they sing. <laughs> Janet got her vengeance and returned home to her mum. And her mum said, oh my god, sweet Janet, I thought you'd never come. And they are living together, sisters and brothers, mothers and fathers too. Even one of them's a baby, life's a zoo. But that baby is like all of us. She could only rise after a fall. And when it comes to discipline, Dad rules us all. Guys. If nothing else tonight, I hope that that song literally gives you nightmares. <laughs> How was the comedy show? Well, I can't get it out of my mind. And I've lost my job. I'm not sleeping anymore.